Standing in Memorial Hall, you can see the classic Art Deco style tied in with the prairie theme. It is called Memorial Hall because it was originally done as a memorial for all of the lives lost during World War I. The black stone at the front is done with Belgian marble along with the bronze pillars and those are used to represent all the lives lost in World War I. Looking up at the 40-foot ceiling, you'll notice our beautiful Art Deco chandeliers. The chandeliers have the design of an inverted head of wheat. The materials in the hall, the flooring is done in Tennessee marble, and the walls are done in Yellowstone travertine from Montana. The Yellowstone travertine has been cut into slabs, but if you pick out a vein to follow, you can actually follow that vein from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. All the pieces are matched, just like they were cut from the quarry. In the center of Memorial Hall is the Great Seal of North Dakota. We have October 1st on the upper left and 1889 on the upper right, which is North Dakota's Constitution date. We became a state on November 2nd along with South Dakota. President Harrison didn't want to decide who was going to be first, so he had the pages shuffled before he signed them. So we don't actually know if North Dakota is number 39 or number 40. Typically, we're counted as being the 39th state as N comes before S in the alphabet. In the center of the Great Seal, along the top, are 42 stars, and we included Washington and Montana, even though they weren't states at the time, so that 42 represents how many states there were going to be at the end of the year. The Great Seal and the plaque underneath were sculpted by two Bismarck artists and cast by a local company in 2006. Originally, to come into the Capitol, you would have climbed up the steps and gone in one of the two revolving doors at either end of Memorial Hall. Those were locked after the 9-11 terrorist attacks to provide extra security by having visitors come in on the ground floor. Notice above each of the revolving doors is a different image. The one on the far end, on the west end, represents agriculture and farming, and the one on the east end represents coal mining. Those would have been the two major industries in the 1930s. Next to the governor's office is a set of flags including the North Dakota and United States flags and the five tribal nations of North Dakota. This display is designed to show how our governments are independent but we cooperate and work together. The tribes in North Dakota are the Mandan, Hidatsa, Arikara, Sioux, and Chippewa.